This is a demo video of how to construct a small um, Tiny85 based PCB using surface mount components. There's a matchstick here for size comparison. The uh, components are 0603 in size. This is a very simple board. It only has two capacitors, two LEDs, two resistors, micro programming port uh, and a voltage regulator. So this is the, the top side where you see the programming port, the micro, the LED and the resistor. Optionally there's a jumper here if you don't need the voltage regulator you can, you can jumper it out. Then on the back we have another LED which is attached to an I.O. pin the current limiting resistor, voltage regulator and two capacitors. I'm going to do this with fairly ordinary tools. I want to avoid things that the average electronic hobbyist isn't going to have with the exception of this which is, uh, which is a solder paste, uh, uh, a paste flux which is uh, extremely useful for doing this type of work. Forceps are uh, probably about five dollars. Using ordinary solder and a very ordinary, very ordinary tip. But this uh, this came with the soldering iron. It's nothing special at all. with the power supply I'm going to uh, firstly flux the, um, the pads for the LED and the current limiting resistor oops I should have oops there we go then the LED the arrow has to go towards ground Resistor doesn't matter. Now apply some solder. Once one side's tacked, you don't have to hold it anymore. Oops. No trouble getting in there. Resistor. There are lots of ways to solder resistors. On the flip side, I'm pre-tinning some of the some of the pads and make it a little bit easier, particularly the the LEDs and capacitors. There's some uh, pros and cons to this. Do the middle, the single pin first, and flip it over, and do the other two. These capacitors are a little difficult to solder. What's going wrong here? Forgot that. Flip it around, do the other side. That one was easier. Now plug in the programmer and we have power. The power supply is working. Now that the lead and resistor on the I.O. pin my preferred method for doing resistors is simply that. And then uh, we'll do the LED as we did before. The only 
me through the whole part are the six pins for the programmer. I'll tin the pads to make it a bit easier. Hold it in position. And on the flip side. Now I'll do the other pins. I prefer to do this with a flow tip, but you can do it with a with a standard iron. And so that bridge clear quite easily. The fuses have been programmed. A flashing LED program has been uploaded into the micro and the micro is working.